of these monsters I remember writing in my journal. I mean, Joel's heart was ripped open. It was, like, ripped open. They shredded my boy's heart. And then a couple of days later, I went into my journal and I wrote, We're not looking for monsters. We're looking for other young people. We're looking for human beings. If I think of them as monsters, I let them off the hook. If I hold them in their humanity, then I hold them accountable. Tell us about uh, tell us about Circle Up. What happens here? Uh, Circle Up is a documentary film. Uh, it follows a group of mothers in Boston, uh, which is where I'm from. I just flew in today. Uh, a group of mothers in Boston whose uh, sons were murdered, and they were very frustrated with the criminal justice system, and decided to make their own justice, um, which for them meant forgiving, in some cases, the men or the people who had murdered their sons. It meant holding them personally accountable. Uh, it meant trying to heal themselves and to heal their community. How did you become involved with this group of women? How did you, how did you find them? Um, I actually got to them through the idea of a peacemaking circle, which is a Native American tradition that helps people restore justice uh, when harm has been done. And I spent several years trying to find a topic, a film topic around peace circles, and uh, eventually landed on this woman, Janet Connors, who uh, had lost her son and reached out to the men who had murdered her son. How, how did these circles get organized? How did they, how did they bring together the people with, their, with the, uh, the, the victims? Um, was kind of different in different cases, and um, in the case of the main subject of my film, Janet Connors, she actually had to petition the, the Department of Corrections for more than a year to have permission to meet with the uh, offenders, and she held the first victim-offender dialogue in the state of Massachusetts. It's a very official thing, you know, because you can't just, like, people who commit crimes aren't allowed to contact their victims, and even victims aren't supposed to, con you know, it's, it's this kind of wall, that's the way our justice system works, it's all this kind of divided thing. So she, the, it began with the victim offender dialogue and then eventually uh, kind of branched out when he got out of prison. And the offenders, they're willing to, to meet with these families? Yeah, in some cases. Uh, I mean, it was, like I said, different for each case, but in the case of my main film subject, um, she sat with both of them and talked extensively. Both of them individually came to stand on the grave of the man that they murdered and uh, offer their apologies and their thoughts. And, you know, they're just holding themselves personally accountable, which is something that you know, often our justice system doesn't do. Like, you can go to prison for decades and never be forced to actually confront what you did or to, and there's not usually support to help you rehabilitate and get training or whatever, you, you know, help that you might need to re-enter your community. What do you hope uh, the impact of this film to be on the, on the viewership? Well, I mean, I guess I hope people help define for themselves a, a little bit what justice means to them and not that it may mean more than revenge or punishment. The film is starting to get out to a lot of circles that films don't always get to, places like prisons and churches, schools, mediation centers, uh, you know, Grandmothers Against Gun Violence in Cape Cod, whatever, you know, lots of juvenile detention facilities. So, you know, I hope that it will help people find a sense of healing or forgiveness or accountability, justice, whatever, you know, there's different themes in the film and I hope it will help them, help people get there. Well, thank you for talking to us, Julie. Appreciate it so much. I'm Terrence Harder for Chicago Film News. This is Julie Malazzi. Uh, make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.